Hey guys, welcome back to Wacky Engineering, and today we are going to go over counters. So we're just going to jump right in here. We're going to start up a new project, pick our MicroLogix 1000 here, and we're going to add a rung. And hopefully you've remembered some of the previous uh, instructions that we've gone over uh, as far as the examine if closed, examine if open, output energize, and the different timers. If you're not familiar with these instructions, go back and watch the previous videos that we've done. Um, otherwise, we're just going to jump in and start on the counters. So we're going to drag an examine if closed instruction, and we will just address it, input 0, 0. We're going to say push button. And we are going to go over here and click on counter. And the two different types of counters that we're going to be going over are a count up time, uh, counter and a count down counter counter. So we're going to start with the count up. And like the timers that were addressed with a T4 colon 0 through however many you can have, the counters are going to be a C5 and we will start with 0. And we're just going to call this count up. And Preset on this is going to be the number that you want this counter to um, get to before it triggers. And in this case, it's going to trigger a done, which we can use that done as a an input, which we'll probably put on the next line. So for now, we're just going to put 3 in there. We're going to leave the accumulated at 0. And we're going to add, click on the user here again, we're going to add rung, another rung. And we're going to do another examine of closed. And then we're going to do an output. And we're going to address this as the done bit for the counter. Forward slash DN for done. And we'll just put counter done. And we can turn on a light. Output 0. Let's go with 5. Light. Okay, so this should be a pretty straightforward program here, and this just kind of goes over uh, what we're going to use this counter for. So we'll verify the project. It liked it. Hopefully we can just go, uh, we'll just name it counter, and let's download it. We're going to go back to run mode and go back online. So. Hopefully you can kind of understand what this program is going to do. If you want to, take a second, look at it, see if you can figure it out before I go over it. But if I hit this first push button over here, which is this input, it counts up one. Now since these are maintain buttons, i got to push it again to turn it off. But I hit it again, and then I hit it again. And there, now the counter is done. It triggered this, which then turned on this light. And it turned on that light, of course, because output number five is the sixth light over, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Because that is output zero, output one, output two, output three, output four, and output five. So now we need to reset this counter, much like we did on the retentative timer. This counter needs to be reset. So I'm going to go offline, and we are going to... Let's see here, we're going to add another rung, and we're going to try something here. Actually, let me delete this rung. We're going to try something here, something that uh, I haven't gone over yet. You can trigger more than one output with, let's say, one instruction up here. So we have this counter 5 done right here, and we want to trigger at this point, a timer. So I'm going to drag this rung branch over here. We're going to put it there. And I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to branch around this output. What this is going to allow me to do is I can put another instruction right here. And I'm going to put a timer. And we're going to call this, or address this T40. Let's put timer. Do two seconds. 
Okay, so now we have this timer, and we're going to add one more rung, and we're going to say when that timer is done, we want it to reset this counter. So without me saying it, take a second and see if you can think how you would address this to make that work. So when the counter's done, it's going to turn on the light. It's also going to start a timer. And when this timer is done, we want the done bit of the timer to reset the counter. So this is the program we're going to go with. We'll verify it and download. Alrighty, let's try this program out. And there it worked. So we can do it again. Lights on for two seconds until the timer is done and it resets the counter. Of course the counter is what triggered the light to come on in the first place. So there we have it, another fairly straightforward program. We've, we've built upon some of the previous lessons that we've gone over. Um, we put a counter, a timer, examine if closed, and output energize instructions as well as a reset all in one program. And on the next video, we are going to build upon all this some more, as well as adding an extra instruction. So once again, if you liked this, please like, subscribe, hit that alert button, and thanks for watching.